stop the world. Cut. No, the producer isn't quibbling with the way the world is turning. The overall setup is not quite right to fit his needs for a particular film. That's one big advantage of Solarama. We can literally control the elements on Earth or in space for motion picture purposes. After a conference and a change of setup, the producer is ready for another take. This time from the point of view of the moon. Or perhaps the script calls for some type of vehicle traveling through space. Solarama can achieve that too, creating a realistic effect. Note the depth, the perspective possible with this studio technique. Another technique we employ is blue screen. How do we use this process to create realistic special effects? Take a live Air Force parachutist, photograph him against the blue background, black out the blue background and create a matte effect in black and white. From these materials, live action can be produced against any type of terrain or environment. The vast, lonely reaches of a hot, humid desert, the hustle and bustle of a large city, in fact, Anywhere the special effects men desire to set the action. The key mission today is, of course, covering the operations in Southeast Asia. Every type of action must be documented. Each cameraman sent overseas means one less experienced motion picture technician in the ZI. Our squadron is helping take up this personnel slack with a training program in basic motion picture techniques. In fact, oh, but here's one of the trainees to tell this story. Completing my basic at Lackland, I was among the 250 trainees assigned to the 1365th Photo Squadron at Orlando. We are receiving intensive training in basic motion picture techniques. Some of us are assigned to the motion picture laboratory. Here we learn all aspects of processing and printing and are introduced to the lab's modern equipment. This electronic device is used to get the best possible color balance. In the editorial branch, others are learning all the procedures for correctly assembling and editing a complete motion picture. Still, others are learning to produce quality sound, recording the human voice, music, effects, basics of good projection procedures, operating the console controls, all leading to a mix, ready to be cut into a film. Hope the others are enjoying their work as much as I am, for I got assigned to exactly what I wanted, the 1365th Camera School. They really keep us on the jump, four hours of classroom instruction each day. Experienced 1365th technicians teach us about the various camera techniques. Some of these cameras cost as much as $30,000. Where else would beginners get a chance to learn with equipment like this? Then, for approximately two hours each afternoon, under the supervision of the instructor, we put classroom theory into actual practice. At the end of the 12 weeks course, those of us who graduate are ready for camera assignments. Since all of us are being trained as backup personnel for Southeast Asia, chances are we'll soon be joining other 1365th trained cameramen in the hot spots of Vietnam. That's right, in Southeast Asia or on any other official photo assignments. And before long, we'll be using our new television unit in support of Vietnam and other 1365th projects. Equipment built by the F&M Company, Dallas, Texas, was inspected by Colonel Barksdale, Lieutenant Colonel Bjoring, and Mr. Hal Albert, and was turned over to AAVS during October 1966. Operational shakedown of the TV equipment will take place at Lowry Air Force Base in Colorado. The 65th production schedules call for TV training films to be supplied the Air Training Command within the next six months. The 1365th. Home of the Air Force News Review, an assignment of which we are justly proud. 
Footage of latest news events of Air Force interest come in daily from military and civilian agencies scattered all over the world. All this material is reviewed, evaluated, and selected for use in the monthly news review. The same 750 AFNR prints required each month are processed in our 1365th laboratory and packaged and distributed to Air Force installations all over the world. As the title may suggest, airlift... Another special feature of our 1365th photo mission is covering the participation of high-level commanders in various Air Force activities. For example, our AAVS commander is setting the stage for a public screening of an important information film. The annual posture report, another 65th exclusive, concerns every element of the Air Force worldwide mission. A mass of material worked with is staggering. This vast store of information is sifted and compiled into a cohesive whole, supplying our government and military leaders with a full report on the Air Force capability to meet any threat anywhere in the world. These then are highlights, the special features of our 1365th photographic mission. Solarama, blue screen, television, reports and briefings, Air Force news review, specialized training, all playing key roles in our squadron support of the Air Force's Aerospace Audiovisual Missions.